Schmidt and Weinstein have a classic paper about feedback frequency. What does it actually say? So when you look at feedback processing and, and, and giving feedback to people, there's a whole bunch of different things that people have studied. Schmidt and Weinstein looked at one specific issue, which was relative feedback frequency. So how often do you provide feedback to learners? So in their study, they had two groups. One group got feedback every trial or had a 100% feedback frequency rate. And the other group got feedback every other trial and had a 50% feedback rate. So if you look at the performance of the two groups, both groups got better. What's interesting though, is when you look at retention. So if you think back to retention tests, they did an immediate retention test. And what you find is both groups performed like this, but then they did a delayed retention test. And then what they found was that the group in the 50% schedule did okay in the retention test, but the group in the 100% feedback schedule didn't do well at all. So the conclusion from Schmidt and Weinstein was that people retained more when they learned on a reduced feedback schedule, i.e. greater learning occurs when feedback is not provided after every single trial. 